I have a new kitchen gadget here today. This is some kind of amazing water filter. This is supposed to filter your water for 40 years. Can we believe that? First of all, we hope that it fits our spigot. Because some of the reviews says it doesn't fit your spigot. Pretty standard over there. Box in a box with a flat bag of air. You were thinking about one of these filters. And we're going to taste it first, and then taste it with this. Oh, and then I have a water testing kit. I'm going to test it before and after as well, if this fits at all. Let's see. Okay. What we got here? Instructions I don't need. These things I don't need. I might need that. This is a clean and pure G40 plus. Like 40,000 gallons of water at the foot filters they say maintenance free and you never change a filter for 40 years like this thing's gonna last longer than me maybe also we're gonna see how it impedes our water flow because you leave this on there that's why I hesitated I didn't want this on the counter and I didn't want to turn the knob every time but the more I watched it, the more I thought, I like the water that good. <laughs> we don't need these, do we? Oh, these are adapters. Like if you have a smaller spigot hole, maybe that's what people didn't find in the, in the reviews. Think I should read this? A spout G washer. Yeah, these are adapters if we need them. Okay, let's see. Number one, remove the aerator from your spigot over here. So come on over here. Check this out. Let's see where we're gonna put it. See we got a fancy swivel here. This isn't very tight. You may need pliers for yours. Take that off. Then you take this, see? There's a washer there. Is it gonna fit? First try. That fits. I'm standard. <laughs> I'm standard. <laughs> If it didn't, if yours was bigger or smaller, you would screw that in the big part of that and smaller there, whatever. You know, one way or the other. However, that's an adapter. So they give you enough adapters. I don't know why people were complaining. And let's snug that up a little bit with pliers. this hose here but we could get a wire tie and strap it around there you know he could do that and this just pushes down onto here see finished <laughs> remember this is temporary now okay so let's get back here the next step of the instructions say turn on cold water at the faucet right now we have this on See how it's going to change our flow. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. I could tighten it up a little more, maybe. Then, turn bypass control on diverter valve. And then it says run water through unit for 30 minutes to purge and trap the air. Holy cow, 30 minutes. Oh, the running water can be trapped by a bucket. 
so not to waste water. Okay. So yeah, if necessary, you have those instructions there, but we were good. Do not attempt to filter hot water. If hot water is accidentally run through filter, immediate flush system with cold water <laughs> for 15 seconds. Okay. And then you turn this this way. See? Wherever your cup is going to be. Or here, you can fill up a pot if you want to, right? Kiddios. Moment of truth. You turn this on. And when you want that to come out of there, you turn this. Now remember, this is the first time, so it's going to take a while to get water up. We turn this right here. See? Diverter. And there's air in there right now, you hear? There's no water in there. Oh, 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 all right, that's charcoal. That's the filter. Hang on. This is normal. This is normal. All right, see how it's splattering? That's why there's air in there. I don't know about 30 minutes, though. That comes out pretty quick, though, like a little coffee pot, right? And if you want water over here, you just turn this. Okay. We're going to try it. Got to get all the air out of there. Now, aside from the air purging out, I bet it's still filtering that water, and I can taste it to give it a taste test. What does everybody think? You know what we were using? We were using it right up. I'm going to test that. I said I got two water testing kits, and each one of these is good for two tests. So I'm going to fill this up. Well, I have a new filter for this, too. Here. <laughs> we like our clean water. That's running. Check the time. This must be cold water through, too, because it's kind of hard. Charcoal in there, too, right? Mix this out somewhat. Mm -hmm. Now, this we have to run tap water through here. So, I'm gonna rinse this in 15 seconds through this water because we're gonna test the filter results here, too. 15 seconds. This has charcoal. This is a charcoal filter. And we usually change these about every three months or so. Worried up. We got three of these for $15, I think it was today. Fill the last two months. 40 gallons. Reduces chlorine, taste and odor, mercury, copper, and more. Taste came out here. It's a little filter process. Clean water. What do you think Poker Man thinks it is? Let me put this in here nicely. This stays pretty secure. Oh. It turns. Oh, there's a cross there. She always does this. Huh? Secure. We fill this reservoir. And it drips down to there. We're just doing a little bit now for uh, our water test. Here's my lid. Lid goes on. Let's go back to this. Half an hour, they say. Well, to get the air out. But I'm sure I can taste that now. It's just the air problem, right? Going through, what is it, seven stages of filters? Six or seven, I don't know. Let's see. Air gone. Maintenance free, no filters to change. Any adjustments? Isn't it nice? There's something we don't have to hook up to the internet or plug in or give a password to or say, "Hey, 
Give me water, red thing. Huh. <laughs> Back to basics. Anyway, it has a lot of filters in there, including coconut shells and all kinds of stuff. Like natural elements that filter things. First, you know what I want to do? I want to taste. I just want to taste it. To see if I notice a difference right away. Okay, I can do that, all right? Let me do this first. Now, I that on low. Well, that's going to be fast enough to fill our coffee pot, isn't it? Or our cups of water. But first, let me do this. Just a little taste. Which I had a taste. We usually drink bottled water or that pitcher water. And last week, I was real thirsty and I had a little sip of this. I'm like, ugh. It's like chlorine. Alright, I know what that tastes like. It don't taste bad. You want a sip? You know what it tastes like, don't you? Remember that taste. Now let's try it here. This is just the basic test. Let's see if I notice a difference right away. You want to taste that? Just mm -hmm. taste that. You remember what that water tastes like. Mm -hmm. You notice the difference? Yeah, I don't smell the chlorine. Mm. Chlorine. Let me see. Wow, yeah. It's, it smells like pool water now that you mention it. <laughs> okay. Here, let's, let's do this. Let's get our test kit ready. All right, we're gonna try this now. H2O K. H2O O K. Drinking water analysis. 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 Say it. Analysis. Anal analysis. 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 <laughs> Still letting that run. You hear that little? Tss, 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 tss. That's the water. The hissing. That's not bad. It's not really in the way like I thought it would be, huh? We got some weight to it because it's full of water now. That's okay. They're alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's getting quieter. It's gonna get that water out there. Alright, let's open this up. I'm gonna test my regular drinking water, and then I'm gonna test the filtered water. Then I'm going to test this water and bottled water. A little chart. pH and all that. Each one is individually sealed. So I'm going to read these directions. Test kit was only $9 for tests. These are labeled. Six tests. See, that's why we have two of each. There's six tests. So with the six tests, you fill this up to the line, and immediately you read the first four tests. Hardness, chlorine, alkalinity, and pH. Then, in 30 seconds, you read the bottom two, nitrates. No. Nitrate. Nitrate and nitrates. Right. Then if you want to test for copper or iron, you have separate iron and copper. No, it's iron. So you have two of each and copper. First I'm going to do the regular old spigot. Regular water. I'm going to fill it to that etched line. I'm sure I can, I can tighten that a little more there. This is regular unfiltered water. We take our test for six tests. You dip it in and you immediately read those first four colors. 
And then in 30 seconds you read your nitrates and nitrites. Trites. Nitrates and nitrites. Here we go. This is exciting. And we're going to compare it to the filtered water. Whoa, okay. We'll put this in there for how long? It says. Two seconds. Dip that for two seconds. And shake it. One, two. Take it out, shake it immediately. Match these up. Okay, up top. Okay, second one. Okay, third one. Okay, the fourth one. All right, that's unfiltered. Huh, see the chlorine? This is within, okay, right there, the first three. Now, oh, then we wait 30 seconds to, to see these. And we're off the chart. <laughs> right? They don't match. Okay, but the top ones are good. Let's remember this. Let me write on here, spigot. Let me write this sink. And the bottom ones, I guess they're on the first. In the okay area. Okay, that's the sink. Alright, I'm going to do the copper and the iron test for the regular water, the sink water. Swirl. This is for copper now. Ten times. We're going to sink water. Take it out and wait. Face up. Wait, Wait 15 seconds? 15 seconds. Okay, while I'm waiting, I could look. Well, there's a big range of okay there, see? Bad would be gray. 3.0. There's the copper. If you can see. I think that passes. That's my regular sink water. Hmm. The filter has to be at least as good as... <laughs> See, the best okay on my sink for chlorine and hardness is okay. All right, so, I don't know. Look, that's a good copper. Regular sink and iron, same water. Okay, for the iron, we dip it for two seconds, shake it off, and wait 60 seconds to compare it with this. So, two seconds, shake it off, and wait 60 seconds, it's still good unless it's going to get with the reddish, hmm, so I think just our regular sink water was pretty good, except for the chlorine flavor and smell, right? Yep. Sit there for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to fill this test tube. I'm going to rinse it out with the new water. With the filtered water. Is that okay with everybody? Water. I know I'm supposed to let that run. Look, this is okay. This is in good range. Six tests on the filtered water. It can't be worse, can it? <laughs> Dip for two seconds. Shake it off. And read the first four tests immediately. That's the filtered water. Whoa. Whoa. I see. All right. Yeah, yeah. This is the sink. Is the color still the same? Pretty much. Look at that. That means we were drinking good water all along. Just had chlorine flavor, right? 
And we're waiting 30 seconds for these, right? Yep. Nitrate and nitrite, trait. Mm-hmm. Trait and trait. Hmm. It's still okay. That's the third one, see? And this is okay. pH. Well, pH. Now the time is going because I'm supposed to instantly check that. The longer it sits on there, the stronger it gets. But it was good instantly. And now the nitrate? Hmm. Don't even match the chart. But I think in the beginning, in 30 seconds, it was okay. Anyway, I'm not disappointed right now. Although I do want to check a bottle of water. Should I do the iron test with the other mm -hmm. one? Iron and copper. What did I do first last time? Copper. Copper. Copper was swirl 10 times. Wait 15 seconds. Swirl. Wait 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. It's okay, huh? The 3.0 is bad right there, see? But they give you a good range. <laughs> Our water's good, look at the big range you got. Okay. I like that. I know, I just dip two seconds, wait 60 seconds. Iron. Has to be less iron filtering through coconut shells than my regular sink. Two seconds. I won and win. Sink it off. And wait 60 seconds, mm -hmm. right? Okay, while we're waiting, hold this color. Ooh, that's the only one that's okay right there. I don't think it's gonna get lighter. How could there be more iron on? Let me think. PPM. Parts per million. 60 seconds. Is it getting lighter? Do not adjust your TV set. Let's see. The one from the other one got darker as that sat here. See that? That's the other, that's the regular sink water. All right, well, I guess it's within there, I don't know. This is the only one that's okay. It's been 60 seconds, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Hmm, what do you think? It's okay. What I want to do is just, I want to dip one in just a regular water bottle. <laughs> That's what I want to do. So, I need my other kit. <laughs> okay, this is the sink. This is the... It's on other tube. What do you think? I don't know if the other one was dirty, but I don't think it was. This is Deer Park Natural Spring Water. I'm interested in testing that. Here's our six tests. You get two of each of everything here. Wouldn't it be something if the charts were printed in the Ink didn't match. <laughs> That's why it's so important. Okay? Six tests. Deer Park unopened. This just goes in for two seconds, right? Shake it and immediately check your chart. A one and a two and a Check it. Check the chart. Oh, look at the alkaline. Woo-wee! 
It's okay. I guess it's okay. Look at number four. pH. pH. Okay. We're still okay. See it way up there? I'm sorry. It's sideways. That's okay for number one. Number two. It's okay. Number three. It's okay. Okay. Now we're waiting. 30 or 60 for the bottom? 30. So by the time I look at that for a while. Hmm. I don't know. Nitrate? That didn't seem to match on any of them, did it really? Hmm. Nitrate and nitrite? Trait? Well, I think the water filter, which is the main reason for this video, is good so far because it's just as good as my excellent tap water, which is excellent and I didn't know it. Now, the city must be taking care of it or whoever takes care of it. I know that's an important job, testing water around here or anywhere. Well, not anywhere. Then we got copper. Copper is instantly too, right? I don't think the amount of water ma matters to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do? Mm -hmm. Huh? Like I should have had a test tube full instead of a bottle? Maybe so, yeah. Why? I don't know why. Ten, fifteen, oh, fifteen seconds. Copper is down here. It's a big range. The only one that's bad is the three on the end, which is purpley. All right, that's okay too. What am I trying to prove? I'm trying to prove that this filter doesn't make it worse, that my tap water wasn't bad to begin with, which I really didn't know. But we're gonna have fresh tasting, non-chlorinated coffee. Right? Yeah, right, and we don't have to use the Brita filter if we don't yeah. have to. Only if we want the water cold. How long does this go in? Two seconds. This is for the iron. Dip two seconds, shake it, and wait 60 seconds. Ah. Iron on the bottom. See, they only give you one. That one. That's the only one that's okay there. And none of them really matched that yet. But 60 seconds. Yeah, you can look at that for a minute while I get my next test ready. Oh yeah, we didn't taste the Brita yet, right? Mm -hmm. So here's a new test tube, remember? Remember, here's the old one, here's the new one, doesn't matter. Well, I would rinse it out with this. This is filtered water, you see, with my new filter insert that I put in there. Last test. See? It's been over 60 seconds. It's okay here. Okay. I think. Mm -hmm. Almost done. I got a sham wow. You can get one too. <laughs> Six tests. Two seconds. That's this now. This is the Brita. Got one and then two and shake it off. Good, 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 good. It's all good. See? Okay. Now, 30 seconds for the nitrates and nitrates. Nitrite and nitrate. Copper, swirl it for 10 swirlies.
week 15. This is the second from the bottom here. 15 seconds. It's a big range, remember? Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then the iron. Then we're done. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to taste it without fooling around. And I'm still going to run this to get the air out of it for 30 minutes or something. There we go. Two seconds for this one, right? Two seconds for the iron. iron. Wait 60. Wait 60. Okay, only the first one is okay. Okay, my final test is to taste. Regular sink. You know, when you want it to come this way, you go this way, see? If anybody ever does dishes, see that? And you want it over there, you close it, see? Regular sink water. Oh, no. filter water. Mm. I do taste the difference. Yeah, we should have had a blindfold taste test. Mm -hmm. I bet I would have. Let me see. Sink water. Yeah, it's like... Okay. I like it. Did you enjoy that? We drank Brita, we drank Deer Park, we drank this 40 year filter, which I could leave somebody in my will, maybe. Hey, <laughs> we do our dishes, is that tight enough? Yeah, it's okay. See? You want a cup of coffee with that nice filtered yeah, water? Yeah, let's have Maybe. coffee. Might as well be walking on the sun. Instant coffee, why not? Uh. Remember, don't put hot water in there. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. But I'm gonna let that run to get all that hissing out of there, the water that's in there, it's gonna purge out. I like that test and I'm really happy that I found out my regular water is good. Aren't I? Mm -hmm. Whew. Whew, what's that? <laughs> okay. Have a nice night. I'll see you in a couple days. My Girl Scout nuts are coming tonight. I'm not gonna eat them all at once, but I'm gonna show them to you. Okay. But I gotta do a couple things for a few days. But I'll be right back. Have a nice night. Bye. Please subscribe. See ya. Bye. Get you with that. Ah, you get you with a big rag. <laughs> Bye. Let's have some coffee.